Hey guys, welcome back, or hi if you're new. My name's Evita, and I like to film all kinds of pink and girly videos on this channel. I film lots of hauls, like what we're doing today, um, room tours, declutter videos, that kind of stuff. So, if any of that sounds like something you want to watch, then hit the subscribe button or wait till the end and see if you enjoy my video. Um, but yeah, today's video is going to be a haul. Like I just mentioned, I have a small little Victoria's Secret haul and I also have a couple of PR boxes because I don't have much to show you guys, but I really wanted to film something today. So I decided I would like show my PR that I have. Um, I did place two more Victoria's Secret orders after this one came in. Like, I don't know. I just received, like, a $15 reward, and then I was like, okay, I'm going to use that. And then I got another $15 reward. I'm like, is it the same? Because I know sometimes they send them out, like, you know, like, a reminder or something. And I'm like, no, it was a different one. And then I got, like, a whole strip of coupons, and I'm like, uh, I have to use them. So, yeah, so I placed three orders, and I don't know why I didn't just wait until they all came in, but sometimes they take too long and I ain't got time to be waiting for them so um I decided I am just going to um show you guys what I got now and then when the other ones come in then I'll just show you guys then so yeah um I got some water because it is really really warm in my room I don't know why I'm wearing a sweater the rest of my house is like it feels relaxed but in here obviously you guys see that sun hitting me from my window so that's not helping um anyway i'm gonna get into the video so let's see what i'm gonna start with this i did say this was an online order um i'm showing you guys first but i am gonna be posting an instagram reel so if you guys follow me on instagram you might see this twice um i already opened it because I had garbage day yesterday. I wanted to get rid of a lot of like extra. Just as much as I could. So I took the outer packaging out. So this is the cove. And then I have some other stuff there. So the first thing I ordered were these super cute leggings. Um, so they just, they're black. And then they say pink all the way down and they're in the pink i had seen these a while back in white and i didn't get them but when i saw that they had them in pink i was like oh yeah and if you guys aren't like a pink lover they do have them in i think like a pretty baby blue color maybe a pastel purple color um like a lilac but they do have them in different colors not just pink and then like i said they do have white also so yeah it just says pink if I can turn it all the way down and I got these in a size large I usually get them in a large um, and these are high-waisted also so they feel really good and these are full length and they don't flare at the bottom they're like the regular kind so I'm excited about those those are so cute I don't know where I'm putting this stuff and Next, I got this really, really pretty color pink. It, like, matches, like, all the Jeffree Star stuff back there. So, I saw this, and I wanted it because I like V-necks better than, like, um, round necks or whatever they're called. This looks huge, though. Um, this is a medium it looks so big. It's just a plain t-shirt and it says pink right there on the sleeve. And it's like in this pretty like cursive. So yeah, so this looks cute. But in the picture, the way the model had it on, she had like a knot or something. So maybe that's why it's supposed to be big because she like had it tied. So I thought this was just cute. It would even look cute with those leggings. Um, so I really liked it because of the neckline. Let me see. And I know it was really, really inexpensive too. Um, 
Mm, it was eleven dollars, and the price that's on it. Oh, they took it off. It doesn't say, but it was on sale for eleven dollars. Actually, I think it was on clearance. Next, I don't know why I didn't bring my garbage over here. Next, I got these pants. So these are just what do they call these? They're everyday lounge campus pants, and they are the ones that say pink down here. And I got these in a medium. Why does everything look so big? These look like I could have got a small. They look extremely baggy. Um, whoa. I don't know if the camera's picking up how big these look. They look ginormous. Um, but I got these to match. Um, I actually pulled it out before I started filming. This sweater because I had the sweater already and I wanted the matching pants. So. Uh, okay. Uh, these were. So I think they were on sale two for 80 Two for $79.95. My receipt shows $31, but that's because I had, like I said, a reward. So, that is the pants. And then I got, because they were two for $79.95, I got these. This is what I really wanted. Is this new one this new color that they have out right now it is so pretty and I love the way it says love pink going down that is just so cute to me and these are like the cinch kind the other pair are too they're like I said called the everyday campus pan and these are also in a medium and they too look extremely big but I mean it's okay they're sweatpants I'm just gonna be lounging around in them anyway but they did not have this sweater um they had like a sweater dress and then they had um like the long sleeve tee so I don't know if they have a sweater I haven't seen it yet I've been stalking the website trying to find a sweatshirt to match but I keep finding like a sweater dress so next I got this because this just looks so pretty and it was on the clearance section and I kept seeing it and I was like I want that look how freaking pretty this is it's like a little party clutch in this like satin pink color and then it says Victoria's Secret here in gold and it's like a little clutch and this isn't magnetized it actually has a button here and it opens up oh my gosh this is just so freaking adorable I love this material this is the cutest little thing I don't know where I'm gonna wear it to or for what but you need this you just have to have it like it's beautiful and being on clearance too, normal normal price is $24 and I paid $9 for it. So, oh, it's just so beautiful. Um, I was trying to see if it said anything about it. But it's like a, you guys can hear, it's like a little sateen, satin material. So pretty. Next. I picked up this cute, I'm trying to see what they call everything, it's called a wristlet strap and I have like every single one of these that they've come out with in like a pink color, not the black one, but this is like the newest one, it's like pink, then it has like the lighter pink and then the hot pink and it's just all rhinestones all over super blingy I love it uh, I love the little 
V here detail that is like so beautiful so dainty and I love how all of theirs just like press it there to open it because I don't have time to be trying to like break a nail trying to fit um the other little you know what I'm trying to say so I was going to show you guys the other ones so I have this one which is super blingy too see like this one doesn't have the bees and this one's like outlined with black it also has that little cute little V. And then this one has no rhinestone, no bling detail. It just has the V's on it. And it has this little V also. So that's what those look like side by side. And then do I have another one up here? I know I have one on my key ring, so then I have this one that just says Victoria Secret and it's like hot pink and light pink. So that's all of them. And then I have one that's this color. I think it says Victoria's Secret going down. And that's the one that's been on my key ring for a while now. So yeah. So that is my little wristlet collection in case you guys were curious I'll fix that later but I just wanted to show you guys but yeah this one is like I want to say my favorite of all of them so if you guys have not picked this up yet you guys need this it's so freaking pretty I'll probably buy a backup because I actually had broken one um actually I don't know what's on my keys right now because the one that I broke is one that I never got again it was blingy and I broke it and I never did replace that one. So anyway, I'm thinking of buying another one because somehow the key chain like broke off and I don't know why I didn't just replace the key chain, but yeah, probably going to get another one of these just because it's super cute. And the last thing for this haul is actually a purchase from Parsh Poshmark or Mercari. I can't remember which one I bought it from. Um, but I couldn't find this on the website anymore since I'm doing a Victoria's Secret haul. I might as well show you guys now. It was brand new. She still had it in the packaging. But this is just like one of their uh, nested makeup bags. It's like the nested trio bag. And I wanted this clear one. I have like a bunch of these pink stripe bags already um so this is like a smaller one the camera's probably not picking it up but it does say victoria's secret up there in silver it has a silver zipper and it's just like black on the inside there's no like pocket or anything and this is like a wipeable material it's like a um, leather like and then it also comes with a black one so this is the black one. It's also like a leather-like material. And it says Victoria's Secret. And it is black inside. So this one is like more of a straight zip. And then this one's a round one. So, and then this is what I really wanted. It's just like a little clear uh, makeup cosmetic case whatever you want to call it and I just thought the clear bag was really really cute um so yeah so I literally was on a hunt for this because of this one the normal price says $38 I think I pay like 20 something and she gave me free shipping I think so yeah so and she still had everything still wrapped brand new so I couldn't beat it, especially since I couldn't find it on the website anymore. So, yeah, so I'm really happy to have this. I keep looking up there because I actually have the rest of the set, like the train case and the other makeup bag up there. That's why I keep looking up there because I'm like, it is part of this set, right? So, yeah. So, let's move on. That's everything that I got from Victoria's Secret. So, if you were only here to see that and you don't care about my PR, you can exit. The video is 
done for that portion i'm going to show you guys just a couple of things that i got in pr and it's going to be a short video like i said so i got this um in pr from color pop and i took the outer box out because like i said garbage day and sometimes i just have too many boxes laying around so if you guys can guess what it is this is the um darth vader palette which i'm super excited about because i am a star wars fan uh so this is what the outer packaging looks like and it's the back of it and doo -doo 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 -doo. this is the palette and the shade names are on the back this shade right in the middle is called I am the master that is beautiful so that's what it looks like I am totally going to swatch that because that looks so beautiful. Oh, wow. And I'm going to swatch Stormtrooper, this, like, really pretty. Oh, wow. So those are the two that I just put on my hand because those are the two that, like, screamed at me when I opened it. The lighter one's not picking up because of the stupid lighting right now. <clears throat> There you go. You can see it a little bit better. It's a really pretty pinky metallic shade. So pretty. Um, and then there are one, two, three, four mattes. And then these two are like a metallic shade. There's one, two, three, four, five metallics and four mattes in here. So this is very beautiful. Uh, yeah. So if you guys are Star Wars fans, they have a Darth Vader palette that you guys need for your collections. I have the Mandalorian palette, um, the first one and the second. So I'm happy to have this to go with. All right. I need a wipe because I will get this all over me. I am so hot, you guys. Like, it's hot in here. The funny thing is, it snowed all day yesterday, and it is freezing outside. Like, my husband and my daughter were getting ready to go to the store just now, and he was, like, bundling her up. And I'm like, hey, what are you doing? It is so warm. And he's like, where? I was like, upstairs? He's like... That's in the house. He's like, it is so cold outside. The sun is deceiving. Sorry I keep drinking water, but I am so hot. Um, Next, I got a package from Pop Beauty. And I haven't got anything from them in a while. So I was like, ooh, what do they have? And usually their packages aren't this big. And normally get like a little envelope. Envelope. Sorry, oh wow are those for the feet oh maybe not so this is the package it says ready prep set so there's a headband it says make sure you're ready to prep set to have some healthy action for your skin so it comes in this little purple box and says pop beauty on it and it has this little not detail in it so you know wear it while you're doing your skincare that's adorable and then they sent over a fizz jelly cleanser it says this light textured jelly face wash thoroughly removes impurities and makeup residue refreshing and revitalizing the complexion so this one like the theme is ready prep set this is the ready um so this is like i said a fizz jelly cleanser 
Hmm. I will give that a try. The packaging is interesting. And then this says prep and it says cleans cleansed exfoliated reinvigorated. This is called a pom pom pill and it says these pre-soaked peel pads are loaded with exfoliating and purifying agents putting clearer and brighter skin up for the win so when i first saw this and i saw pom pom peel i thought it was like a for like the petty like you know have you guys seen like those little petty wipes i thought that's what it was so i got excited because i'm actually in need of some uh stuff for my feet right now obviously Spring and summer is coming up and it's sandal season and want to have super soft feet. So this is cool because it has like this little um, pop. Most of the pills open that way. Well, you still have to take this off, but that's kind of cool that it opens that way. Uh, like I have these like pre-soaked moisturizers by like First Aid Beauty and I have some from Pixie and I have to unscrew them. So this is kind of cool packaging. So I will be trying these out. It says they have um, pomegranate and AHAs that gently and effectively peel and diminish the look of pores. They are supposed to exfoliate, purify, brighten, and cleanse. They're cruelty-free and vegan. And you just swipe them across your face and your neck after you clean. So that looks cool. I'm just throwing all my garbage on the floor. And the last one is the set. It says this is a Jet Setter Anti-Fatigue Mask. And it says this potent treatment formula will plump, energize, and help the skin beat the blues in a matter of minutes for the ultimate anti-fatigue effect. So this is a rehydrating mask. It has ceramide vitamins and antioxidants for a quick pick-me-up you're supposed to apply a thick layer all over your face leave it on for 10 to 15 minutes and then wipe it off i like the wipe off kind better than like having to wash your face so that's kind of cool because you could just get like a damp um towel face towel and just wipe it off so that's kind of cool so yeah so i will be trying all of this really soon i'm probably going to post a reel with this and then i'm going to get rid of this huge box i was trying to get this done before garbage day like i said because i wanted to throw all these boxes out but it's okay there will be another garbage day next week um i got my what month are we in march boxy charm i don't know why i'm holding this knife so I did open this and peek because I wanted to see what was in here, but I didn't go too much into detail. So the theme this month says Game Changer. Celebrating Game Changers and Boss Babes in honor of Women's History Month. So that's what it is. Um, the first thing I see is this Aceology Detoxifying Treatment Mask. That's what it looks like. Um... It says a supercharged health retreat for congested skin, working to draw out blackheads and impurities in clear clogged pores with skin-loving charcoal. Ooh, I love charcoal masks. That's exciting. I'll probably do this one tonight. Um, this retails for $69. Holy cow. For 2.19 fluid ounces. It says the charcoal's antibacterial purification powers are unraveled with any other detoxifying ingredient when it comes to extracting sebum and dirt. And yeah, it's supposed to protect the skin for flawless and poreless texture. Sounds really good. I'm definitely going to be trying this. How it says put some on a brush or applicator. A thin layer onto clean, dry skin. Be careful of your eyes and hairline and brows. What? I've never seen that on a mask. Leave on for 20 to 30 minutes or until fully dry. Oh, it's a peel-off mask, too. It says, after it's fully dry, peel off from the edges. Rinse the excess with warm water. 
and you can use it it says use twice weekly for optimal results that sounds interesting i wasn't expecting it to be a peel off it usually would say that right on the packaging it doesn't but yeah that's interesting so i'm probably gonna try that tonight because i love charcoal mask 69 dollars holy cow that's like isn't that more pricey than glam glow um next this is definitely over i can tell by the packaging right oh yeah this is from Oph ofra i love the pink how pretty is that what is this ofra cosmetics charm your cheeks with mini mini blush palette I love Ofra, and I only have a couple of their blushes. I have, like, all their highlighters, and I have been wanting to try their blushes because blush is my love. Look at how pretty these are. That orange. Is that my time? They don't have the shade names on the front. I cannot read this. So this is Pink Satin. Yes, this is my tie. This is Candy Apple, Coral Crush, Fire Orange, and Rendezvous. Rendezvous. So, Mai Tai is one of the only ones that I've seen before. I don't know if the other shades are new, but I remember when Mai Tai came out and there was another orangier one that's not in here because these names don't sound familiar. But, oh my gosh, this is so freaking beautiful. This is a $39 value, and it says this is a boxy exclusive, so I guess you can't buy this on the website. Not sure, but um, if you guys don't have boxy charm, if you sign up, I think it's $25 a month, you will get this box still this month. So you can get this, which costs $39, but you will be paying $25 to sign up, and then you can cancel it if you don't want to keep it. But you will have this pretty thing since it's an exclusive. So that's just a suggestion. And that's not sponsored. I'm just letting you guys know you can do that. You can sign up for the current month that you're in. Get that month and then cancel. There's no like stipulations. Like you can cancel anytime I guess is what I'm trying to say. Um, and you can reactivate it whenever you want. Like you can sign back up in another month if you want. But yeah. I think that's a really good if if I knew if this was a boxy exclusive and I could not get this and I love blush the way I love blush I would definitely sign up and get this like you see how pretty that is my sweater keeps riding up and it's driving me nuts next there is um earth harbor naturals nymph nectar superfruit radiance bomb that is a mouthful it's a mm, melts across your face with this bomb. You guys, I, if you guys have been following me or watch any of my videos, I do not like face bombs, bomb cleansers, like any of that bomby stuff on my face. And it's horrible because Jeffree Star just came out with, and I got my Jeffree Star package somewhere. Oh, I'm using it actually to prop up this uh, tripod. But I'm going to try it because obviously I have to. But, oh, I'm so scared. Like, I'm, I'm anxious right now just thinking about putting it on my face. I have so many, like, bombs that have been sent to me. And I give them away right away because I don't want to use them. But I'm going to go ahead and try the Jeffrey one. I'm not trying this one though. I'm sorry, Earth Harbor. Um, just sorry. I can't. Um, but I'm gonna gift this away. Um, but for those of you who do like these, it says, as sea fruits and tropical super berries playfully melt across your face with this bomb, they insert a lively abundance of vitamin C, A, E, and K omegas and amino acids and numerous other bioactives necessary for achieving your best bounciest dewiest skin yet that sounds so good really really good it's making me almost want to try it it's vegan cruelty free plant-based and from a woman-owned company hmm. 
this is what it looks like. Let's see what it looks like. Let's see. Oh, it has a thing over it. So, yeah. I'm going to put this in my giveaway pal. I do have a box that I've been starting to collect some things to give to you guys. So, oh my god. I literally just looked over there and there's something from this brand like in the box. Hold on. That's so random because I thought I heard of this brand. What is this? So this is like the little box I have and I'm like, what? It's the same thing. Super Fruit Radiance Balm. So yeah. Apparently, I got this either in another boxy. Did I get this last month? I don't even remember. It's the same exact thing. So, clearly, you guys see, I don't like bombs. I probably said this in the video that I unboxed this one too and said the same exact thing. Oh my god, so funny. So yeah, so there are two of these so far in this little uh, giveaway. So, uh one for you and a friend when you win. <laughs> I'm going to put that back in here. But yeah, so far I have some Juno. I have some Color Pop in here. I have that. I have some liquid eyeliners. I see an eyeshadow palette down in here. Or what is that? It's a contour palette. So yeah, so I'm just starting a little box of things. And when I feel like it gets full enough, I'm just going to have a giveaway. My pillow fell behind me did i finish what was in the box no i didn't so yeah back to the last two items in here i got this video was supposed to be fast we're already at 30 minutes gosh you need you talk too much um this is by style dry it's a coconut and fig hair mask that's what it looks like this lighting sucks today it's a super hair mask enriched with coconut oil and mamuru maru maru butter. That's the stuff that's in the Physicians Formula butter bronzers. Um, for healthy, hydrated, and glossy hair, it's the must-have hair mask to nourish your deeply your hair deeply and give the ultimate treatment at home. Your hair will be moisturized, silky, and shiny as never before. This value is for $16.95. I actually did a hair mask today. I did the Briogeo. Um, I don't know what it's called. The one with like the little pretty teddy bear. Like honey bear or something. So yeah. So I actually did one today. And I didn't put any products in my hair. Just letting it like do its thing. Uh, but yeah. Coconut and fig. This sounds good. I'm going to keep that. And then the last item in here is... A ultra cream liquid lipstick by the brand Appeal. And I'm going to throw this in there. It's still wrapped. I don't need any more lip products, as you guys can see. Um, this is a really pretty color. Um, it's called Muse. This is like an Evita shade, definitely. I would keep it, but I just I don't need any lip products. I'm not going to hog them. It's an ultra cream liquid lipstick, a luxurious cream lipstick that slides on with ease and stays comfortable all day, has a satin finish and covers with one application, rich in color, and is a decadent addition to everyone's makeup collection. $21. So I'm going to toss that over there. So yeah, so my value on my box this month, that's 70 that's 40 that's 110 already, 148 168 69 plus another 20 so almost like 190 bucks um let's just round it it's almost close to 200 dollars value and it's 25 dollars. so like i said there are other variations i'm sure um hoping that everyone would get the ofra um palette because it would suck if you guys signed up and didn't get it but i would think so if it's an exclusive um the only thing they probably changed well i guess if you follow the boxy charm like a uh, page i think you can see what the other variations are but yeah i think it's a good value if i've said this in a lot of my boxy charm unboxings if i wasn't 
getting this sent to me, um, I would definitely sign up for $25. You know what we spend $25 on? I'd much rather get almost $200 worth of stuff for paying $25. So, I cannot wait for this. Oh my god. This is my favorite thing if you guys haven't figured it out this month. And that charcoal mask. Very exciting. So yeah, so I'm keeping these three items. The face balm and the liquid lipstick went in there. And yeah, exciting. Again, as soon as this is done, I'm going to put those things away and toss that box. And then I opened this because I was going to see if I could get rid of this huge box. Uh, but it was just, it needed to be opened like this, so I didn't, um, but there were two boxes, so I did open one and get rid of it. I got two PR packages from Dermot E. You guys know I've been working with Dermot E for a long time, a long, long, long time. Um, so they sent a box, a smaller box that had these items, and I just threw them in top of this one. So this says, March into clean skin. Um, it's your lucky month. Quench your skin's thirst with our ultra hydrating dewy skin serum that will nourish the skin with essential vitamins, giving a softer, younger complexion. And give your lips extra care and pair it with the ultra hydrating lip plumping treatment. What? I did not even notice that was for your lips. That sounds amazing. Lip plumping treatment for your lips? What? So, look at this packaging. This looks intense. So, it has like a little thing to come out. How, wait, what? How do I get that out? I want to put some on right away. But I'm like, how does it work? Oh, that just came oozing out. It's like an oil. Let me see it. It's like an oil. Oh. This smells like it's gonna sting. We'll try it together, guys. Too bad I don't have a napkin in here in case it's like burns my lips off. This is probably not the best. This is probably not the best idea to have put on while my lips were chapped. Oh my god, it's burning. I think it's best to not talk right now. This is supposed to be hydrating too. Oh my god, is It says powerful and they're not playing. Literally, I went to read it and it says powerful. Our hydrating lip treatment conditions, pumps, and promotes visibly fuller lips with a tingling sensation. Tingling? This is fucking burning. And a non-sticky, healthy shine. It is non-sticky. I can agree to that. So do you guys remember when I opened it and I said this smells like it's going to sting? Because it smelled like hot tamales. <laughs> and it says it has hyaluronic acid and cinnamon oil so that's probably the hot tamale smell it has paprika in it jojoba oil jojoba i said jojoba jojoba oil and antioxidants to help intensify natural lip color and volume volume i can't even talk right now my lips did turn like red, so it's intensifying my natural lip color, making my rosiness, I guess, come to surface. Lips appear plumper and more defined instantly with lasting hydration. If you guys are curious, my lips are still burning. Um, yeah, it enhances and conditions. If you guys are like, um, not into those like burning tingling plumpers you won't like this if you guys can handle the Too Faced injections which i think this is way more intense intense than the extreme um injection then you guys should be okay 
Uh, it's starting to stop burning. This is what it looks like. Not sure. It definitely made my lips more like rosier looking. I don't know how plump they look. You guys be the judge of that. You guys saw what my lips look like before I started. And then I put this on. But yes, that was intense. But I am going to keep using it because it smells good. I like that it's not sticky. And if it's going to hydrate my lips, I'm going to use it. And if it adds an extra plump, I, I can't really tell. I'm really bad at like judging if the plumpers actually work. But my lips aren't very small. My bottom lip is bigger than my top lip. Um, normally I was just trying to see if my top lip plumped up a little bit, but, um, I don't really buy plumpers cause I don't really, I'm not into like the huge lip thing. Like I think my lips are fine. Um, but yeah, I'm going to keep using it. I do like the packaging on it. You guys saw the packaging. Um, so yeah, I just was not ready for that. I should have uh, read it. I just was like, oh, it's hydrating lip product, and my lips were chapped, so I wanted to put it on. So, yeah. The other item they sent was this Ultra Hydrating Dewy Skin Serum, and I'm, like, looking at the pictures of the person's really dry lips there and then this. Um, so, I really like their hydrating line. That's why I got excited. So, I don't think I've tried the serum before. I have the moisturizer and the toner and the face wash. I've never tried the serum. Is it new? I don't know. Maybe it was new. That's why I haven't. I'm not sure. But, yeah. So, I will definitely be adding this into the little routine when I use their other products. Like, I'll use the hydrating cleanser and the toner, and then I'll put the serum and then the moisturizer. So, this is supposed to give you 72-hour hydration. It has hyaluronic acid, squalene, and green tea, instant luminous moisture, and glow. So, that sounds really good. So, I really, really love Derma E products. If you guys haven't tried that, it's really affordable. Um, they sell it at Ulta and obviously on their website. But Ulta usually has it on sale. And, yeah, you can get points if you order from Ulta. They also sent this in the package. I'm not sure what this is, if it's a little mirror or what. I lost my blade. My favorite of everything that I've tried is the hydrating line. I love the hydrating line, especially the face cleanser. It just feels really good. Yeah, this is a cute little mirror. So, it just says... Derma E Proven Clean Beauty. It's just like, it looks like a button, but when you turn it over, it's a very, very clear little mirror that I'm going to throw in my purse. Very cute. My lips feel so much better now. Like, completely done burning. And then the package that they sent in that big box was this box. So now this huge box is empty, so I'm going to put all the garbage in there works out good um so this just flips open and let's see oh this looks like a little goodie basket so first thing i see is this something smells good i hope nothing's broken uh it says happy galentine's day oh my god have i had this since valentine's we're in March, Eda. We are in March. I'm bad, guys. A couple of this Pop Beauty and this one have been sitting there, I think, for a while. It says, oh, they teamed up with Color Street. So there are some little nail strips in here. All oh, They were for Valentine's Day. They have little hearts on there. So I used to use these before. Like, you like shape them what am i trying to say like cut them to shape your nail and they're like actual nail polish and you just apply them to like your nail and oh are these like some little glitter ones so they sent over 
Oh, these are cute. Like if you wanted to do an accent nail, those are like gold glitter ones. So yeah, so that's really cute. They did a little collaboration with them. This is German Eat Times Color Street. So that's cute. Not not like you have to use them only for Valentine's Day. I could still use them. Oh, they sent some more lotion. They got new ones. So rose hip and almond for anti aging. And it has shea, shea butter in it. And then it says it's supposed to nourish and renew. And then they sent jasmine and vanilla. Ultra moisturizing shea body lotion. This one has oatmeal and it's vegan. And it's supposed to strengthen and restore. So last time they sent over lavender, which I have on my bedside. I don't know. They all seem to have something in Like this is jasmine, vanilla, this is rose hip and almond. I don't know what the jasmine one was. I don't know what the jasmine was. I don't know what the lavender other was but I, I saw lavender and I usually put lavender lotions by my bedside for sleeping obviously and then they sent something that was green I don't know what it was but they sent two so I kept the lavender one and I gave my husband the green one so I'm probably going to keep the rose hip and give him the jasmine and vanilla because I love rose hip and almond that sounds amazing so yeah so I love their lotions they feel so good they're very very hydrating or like a nice thick like cream these remind me of like the new formula of the bath and body works like with the shea butter like really good but i feel like these obviously because they're like you know not medicated but dermatologist recommended i guess it has more like skincare actual benefits you know so yeah my husband has man hands like super dry and he loves those so they're good um, what else is in here? Oh, uh, ooh, another deep conditioning treatment mask. Recover and repair. Is this for hair or for, yeah, for your hair. After shampooing, massage into hair. Huh. So, I do have shampoo and conditioner by them. I didn't know they had a hair mask. So, apparently everyone thinks that my hair is dry because this is the second hair mask I got. Ooh, that smell, smells like it has a lemongrass or something in it. That smells good. It doesn't have, like, scents on here. I can definitely smell, like, citrusy. Um, I'm reading to myself. Uh, I don't see... Oh, it has green tea, papaya mango coconut jojoba oh, oh lemongrass see i know what i know i know what i know i'm sure you know what you know too so yeah so i will obviously use this because like i mentioned earlier i had used the hair mask on my hair so i like hair masks i got one in my boxy charm so i have like in my in my bathroom like little totes and all the skincare that i am interested in trying goes into there that's not open because obviously i have stuff that's open and i'm not going to open everything at once so when i'm done with something i just go into my bin and i say what am i going to try next i have the same thing for hair products i have a bunch of shampoos and conditioners that aren't open i have hair mask in here i have body scrubs and body wash so everything's like in different totes, like skincare, body care. So I'm going to put this in my tote with the BoxyCharm one. Uh, so when I get ready to grab a new mask, I will try that out. It's probably going to be a while from now. So it's really, really, it's really complicated when I get skincare and like body care sent in PR because I want to review it for you guys. But I have current stuff open and you know it expires. So... I will try and if anyone's curious about a particular item that I show, just let me know and I will move that one to the front of the line for you guys and use that one first. Um, if you guys understand what I'm saying. Uh, then they sent over a scalp relief treatment. This has tea tree oil, aloe vera, and it's supposed to soothe dry itchy scalp i think they sent this before and i gave it away because i don't suffer from that 
Um, so I'm going to do the same thing. It looks like a blue. Yeah. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to just toss this in the giveaway. Usually what I do when I put products like this in the giveaway, whoever wins, I'll let them know, hey, by the way, this is in there. Do you need this? Because if they say I don't have like dry itchy hair either and they don't have a need for it, then I'll just leave it for the next one. But I think the last time somebody said, oh, my husband does. So, yeah, I'm going to put this in the giveaway. How? And then they sent over these two things. I don't know what this is. I'm not going to lie. I really don't know. Is this for your scalp? I don't know. Or is this a, for your, like, a body wash brush? I have to ask my husband because I feel so slow right now. I don't know what this is. It has, like, little... It has one of these. I don't know. Is it a body scrubber brush or is it for your hair? I don't think it's for your hair because these are like natural bristles. I don't know. It doesn't say. They don't talk about that on here. Nope. Uh, I mean, I was thinking it was for your hair because this is a comb. So maybe a brush and a comb. But. I, if this is a brush, this is not the kind of brush that I use on my hair, so I would have to give this away, unless it's a body buffer kind of a thing. Feels like it should go on your skin. It feels really good. So maybe it's like for your feet. I don't know. I'll ask my husband. I'm sure he's going to know. Um, but yeah, that is what I got from Derma E really nice package like i said check derma e out on ulta's website get some points try some stuff out usually it's on sale too and the 350 coupon works because it's not prestige or anything so yeah so that's what i have guys i am so sorry that i talk too much and that this super fast victoria's secret was supposed to be like 15 minute video turned into 50 minutes long so I'm going to end this really, really fast. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys were new here, I hope I didn't bore you. I hope you guys still want to subscribe. I do have two more Victoria's Secret videos coming up, and I will try not to drag those out. But I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your week. I don't know what day it is, so I can't say because I don't know when I'm going to film this. So anyway, I love you guys. Thank you to Dermot E and BoxyCharm and Pop Beauty. I opened something else. And ColourPop. For the packages, I will um, link everything down below. And I will see you guys on the next one. Bye. I always do that. I'm like, did I press it? No, I didn't press it.